In this video, we'll walk through creating a simple rig that will speed up the process of animating this truck's wheels. We'll be using the schematic viewport to aid in the rigging process, so I'll open the lower viewport to the schematic view as well as open the setup and rigging toolbar. Create a locator to use as the master mover for all of the truck's parts. Change the display settings for the locator so that it'll be easier to see and select. Select all of the truck's mesh items, then left click and drag them onto the locator in the items list to parent them to the locator. Select the locator and rename it. Then add its world position and rotation channels to the schematic view by right clicking on them in the channels list and choosing add channel to schematic. Next select all four wheels and add their rotation X channels to the schematic view. Add a revolve channel modifier to the schematic view. Then connect the locator's world position and rotation to the revolve modifier's position and rotation. Then connect the revolve's angle output to each of the wheel's rotation inputs. Select one of the wheels and activate the dimension tool to capture the diameter of the wheel. Select the revolve channel modifier node and in the radius input field, enter the diameter divided by two to have Moto calculate the radius value of the wheel. With the rig in place, we can move the locator to see the results of our setup. Open the timeline and create a keyframe at frame zero. Next, scrub to frame 30, then move the locator to a new position in the Z axis. A new keyframe will be created and you can scrub the timeline to see the new in-between frames that Moto generated based on the keyframes we've set. You can use the graph editor to further refine this motion. You'll want to spend some time exploring the array of rigging and animation tools Moto has to offer as we've only scratched the surface of its capabilities.